So with the waterhole, the layers of the book actually go pretty deep. It starts off as a, um, a counting book, one to ten. And for the very youngest child, but actually probably even before counting, it's, it's just the shape of the animals, you know, sometimes, you know, just the colour of the animals is enough. But then it begins with, with one to ten, one, one rhino, two tigers, three toucans. Um, and the next layer is a counting game in reverse, where you've got ten frogs at the beginning, and then nine, then eight, then seven, so that's the next layer. But there's also the hidden animals in every page, and there's ten hidden animals uh, just in the foliage and sort of hiding there. Um, and discovering those is like a, a visual perception game, you know. And when you have found them, there's a checklist along the top and along the bottom, the black and white freezers. Um, so you know what you're looking for, but it'll also tell you what the animal is then. So you're learning the names of the animals. If you look into the distance on every picture, there's the same sort of sense of vignette with the water hole and the trees on either side. And in the distance to one side, there is a clue as to where we are in the world. And initially on, on the rhino page, it's the, 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 the cone of Mount Kilimanjaro, we're in Africa. Turn the page and it's the Taj Mahal, India. So it's like a, a natural history lesson as well. So you're getting all these different layers. And one of the last layers, quite apart from the, you know, the, the, what the waterhole means in terms of a metaphor, and it is talking about the world and, and our need to conserve it, and you know, that every molecule of water in the world is connected through the, through the cycle. The, the frogs, um, I chose frogs as those characters that diminish because in any ecosystem, uh, when it begins to be under stress, the first thing that vanishes are frogs. So there's this sense of, um, uh, you know, they're like the canary in the coal mine. Now, no, those layers are not going to be evident uh, or necessarily, you know, useful to, 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 to readers with young children. But I think they'll get something out. The adult will get something out of knowing those things too. And maybe the older brothers and sisters, you know, will be interested in, in that those layers of the book.